YouTube, YouTube, what is good? It is me, it is I, back again with another Royal Guardians video. Um, before I get into today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. By the way, that's all completely free, so. Um, F with your boy. Support the channel. All right, so today we're going to be talking about um, early to mid game um, focus. Uh, if I can click the right thing, I could uh, get to that. Nice. So early to mid game focus. Um, who do you want to focus on more? I've seen in the Discord. It's obviously between these two DPSs, you have Isabella here and then McCree. Um, me personally, I went with McCree, and I think. Going with McCree early on is definitely um, it's beneficial to you because early on when you evolve him, like his cards are going to cover up the entire map. Whereas in, with Isabella, when you evolve her, she doesn't cover up all of the map. And that's important because you're hitting everything, right? Versus uh, Isabella who might be hitting like half of the map. It's probably like a little bit less than half, but We'll just say she's hitting half of the map McCree you're gonna hit full map so early to mid game I definitely would say go with McCree um, But if you happen to get um, a lot of Isabella's You're in great shape for late game because late game um, Isabella is definitely going to outperform McCree in my opinion, but it's a very, very late game. Um, where is it? Yeah, it's right here. Um, and this is, this takes quite a bit of time to get to the the pulse beam special move, but this is where uh, Isabella is going to completely outperform all of your DPSs. And then, I mean, all hero attack 50%, which is godlike as well. And then after casting the um, ultimate skill, generate nine laser mines that lasts for 20 seconds. Is it, that's a long, long way into late game. But if you can get to this area here with pulse beam, then you're in great shape and she is going to just literally hard carry your team. But again, that's very, very late into the game, unless you can get super duper lucky and get a ton of Isabella's because again, with the gotcha, you're second swing is the only guaranteed when it's two out of two here is your only guarantee um so you're first in it's technically three times around so but your first two are going to be random so you have to you know pray to rng jesus that you get um isabella's or mccree's um f fortunately for me i was able to get a ton of mccree so like i'm in good shape McCree is obviously going to be my three star and then maybe even the um, I don't know what We call that level but the golden one, I guess we'll just say that so Oh, uh, it'll be my Special move or golden character Probably way before um, Isabella is just due to the duplicates that I have of him um, Really, I'm just waiting on a lot of food, but yeah, see, uh, I would say his ghost card is is amazing just because it has the increased damage. Um, again with McCree, you're already going to be covering the entire field. So like right now, I'm covering the entire field throughout the whole game. Like I, and that's why I say McCree is better, um, early to mid game, and then to late game, I would definitely go with Isabella. But I think you'll be in great shape with mccree as well so like me personally i don't think i'm sweating it at all because i have all the mccrees so I, i'm i'm perfectly fine with taking the increased damage and then you know if i do happen to get to this like critical strike damage by 70 percent is also very good so you know tomato tomato um i wouldn't sweat it if you guys happen to be getting a lot of McCree's over Isabella or a lot of Isabella's over McCree, um, they're both very, very good and they're going to be able to carry you. Um, 
even if you go Isabella early to mid game, you're, she's going to carry you still. Um, like I said, me personally, I like to go. I went with McCree because when you evolve him again, his cards are going to cover the entire field. And especially when he does his gold card, they bit, get enlarged cards. And then, yeah, they're just sweeping the entire field and they hit going forward and when they're coming back to McCree. So technically he's hitting the entire field twice. And then he has three layers of the cards coming. So, you know, very good in my opinion. Very, very good. So yeah, it's just a quick video on who you should be focusing on early for your DPSs. I wouldn't go with Blair. Mm, like obviously getting her third would be um, third as in like this special move if possible i honestly i don't even think i would go with her third i would definitely want my freya to be third because the continuous healing of all allies is is godlike so the cow blessing is definitely a blessing so i would go um one or two and then definitely three for freya and then four or five for these two it doesn't really matter probably go tank stunning all enemies and then just try to get blair last mate and imo in my opinion for sure um yeah i think that's pretty much it guys like i said just to recap r real fast either mccree or isabella first or second definitely go freya third for optimal um, reasons cow blessing op and then i would definitely want to go tank and then blair last just because that stun is huge that's going to help with survivability um also going to help him soak up more damage because if he stuns people your healer is allowed to just get off you know obviously heals without the shield going down so that's going to allow you to soak up more damage more survivability it's just a no-brainer really so yeah again isabella or mccree first or second third has to be freya um but again you can't control the gotcha until the third time around and then you know tank blair and yeah that's going to be it for the video guys hopefully i was able to help um help you guys with that confusion because i've seen a couple of people posting in the discord um which character should they go first mccree or isabella and people some people saying isabella some people saying mccree um i think you're going to be perfectly fine um going either or mid the early to mid game um but me personally i think mccree's gonna outshine early to mid game just again due to his cards taking up the entire field and then obviously isabella outshines him um when you're able to get to that golden status so yeah it's gonna be it for the video guys again i hope i was able to help you guys out i'm out peace